Aloha Kakayaka. Hey, check them out. So today we're doing a turkey hunt and this ought to be good. I've never hunted turkeys up this place before, but there are some birds up here I saw yesterday. So today we are going to just, we're gonna try not to bust the truck up a bit and getting in here kind of early, real early, because I want to try to use one of those pop-up blinds. So, hopefully we don't have to four-wheel drive through this thing. So, okay, honey, we're home. Okay, where you been? So, anyways, this ought to be a good time today, all right? You'll see, watch. Check them out. So I just watched a couple gobblers fly down out of the tree. That tree. Okay, I know that was quick. You're probably like, oh, dude, slow down. But uh, I got hens chirping everywhere. I gave a little bit of a, some little purrs. And they were like, whatever turkey say. I hear other gobblers over the hill too, so. Can you hear them? <laughs> We're just gonna give them time, see what happens. I hear Khalid down here making them ruckus. Pretty cool. Okay, shh, quiet. So, I've got one I'm toying with right now. He's underneath this ohia tree. I got birds gobbling where I put my blind last night, but I decided to change it this morning to come down here. It's like a ton of birds gobbling over the hill. There's one. Pretty cool. That's what it's about. Let's see what happens. I just had three come screaming in from the other field. I, I tried to get them on film, I couldn't. They're gonna be coming right up in front of us. And I got this one still off to the side by himself. And he's just fanning and gobbling away. Let's see if we can get those other ones in. About four jakes came in. I got the coffee land guys came in, so everything's kind of pushing my way. But I didn't want the jakes. I was hoping the beards would have grown a little longer. They didn't. I'm trying to have them 
just go away so I'm being quiet except for this and I uh, thought I saw another fan out through the coffee land so let's see what happens for the past decade, King's has provided the most realistic camo patterns on the market, engineered with lightweight, durable materials, and combined with affordability. We're building camo apparel for every hunter. We make camo that performs while keeping you concealed at a price you can afford. Okay, so I think today is a, a waiting game. The birds aren't where they roosted yesterday but I can hear birds goblin up behind me again I can hear them goblin over the hill back there I just dropped my striker <laughs> okay <coughs> I hope you heard that I don't know what to do. I don't know which way to set the camera up. <clears throat> I got one gobbler goblin right up the hill here. I got more goblin behind me. I got some goblin over there and I got some goblin over there. Where do you put the camera? Good times. Good problem to have though. Alright. Please don't beat him. It starts long before you knock an arrow, the early mornings, those late nights, that relentless fight. Only then do you earn the right to draw. Let's go take a look. The bird's still up there. <laughs> look! 
at this guy. Oh my gosh. Dude, how cool is this? How cool is that? Oh my goodness. I've been two days been trying to get this guy. I got one that sits up. Listen, they're all still gobbling back there. This is crazy. Thank you, Jesus. Ha! Hawaii Rio. Not a very big beard. Spurs. Eh, maybe one inch. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Chee-hoo! <sighs> Man, how was that for a hunt today? Thank you, Jesus. Man, that started out pretty rough we it poured rain last night I mean just to beat all and uh, I came out this morning and sat down in the blind started listening and nothing was calling where they were yesterday not a turkey in the roost so I said well well listen to that where you at dudes so uh, I just sat it out, did a little calling, did a little calling. All of a sudden, I start hearing one goblin up behind me. I heard goblin up the street over here, up the street, up the field, um, and then down over the hill. And so I just, I just called, and then I shut up. You know, you talk to most of the guys who know how to call, and they say do a little calling, and then just shut up. And uh, it's hard to do. So when they gobble, and you scratch a little more, and they gobble back, you're like, Jesus, that's pretty cool. But you know, anyways. So. Uh, and then that gobbler starts gobbling behind me again, and then I hear something else over the hill. So I just start calling again. And then these guys came up. And, uh, geez, there was, what, three, four of them? Three of them, I think there was. And so, uh, saw the one with what looked like the longest beard on him. Beautiful fans, I seen those. But, geez, had to set the cameras back up this way and that way and everything. You know, it's tough filming for yourself, man. So, kudos out to everybody. Oh, love this road. You know, that can self-film and stuff. Man, good on you guys. So, hey, anyways, let's go to the kitchen, see what we got, okay? Hello, aloha. Okay, check them out. What we're gonna do today is a very simple recipe. I learned this in Ohio from a guy who's got a great smoke stand out there by Senecaville, out in Seneca Lake area. Mac, we used to call him Chiza was the name, but Kiasa, Kiasi, something like that. Anyways, Mac, here's to you, thanks man. So I kind of redid this a little bit. What I got is we got some of that beautiful turkey breast that from that turkey we just hammered. Boom, and then the other turkeys were like, ah, go get you, I'll go. Mm -mm. And I chased him away, I was like, get away from him. Anyways, so I got that turkey, I got some of the breast. I went ahead and cut it up into bite-sized pieces. What am I mean by bite size? That's a bite size. Ah, okay. So from there, because <laughs> it's got marinade on it. So, anyways, listen, listen, Linda, listen. Okay. So what I did was I cut them up bite-sized pieces, and then I used some marinade. Teriyaki marinade. That's what I like, that's what I use. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap that into a one-third piece of bacon that I have sitting here. And I might even put a little bit maple syrup because I like syrup flavor. Don't tell my, my family because they may not like it. So anyways, so here we go. So all I'm doing with this is I'm taking a piece of bacon and putting a piece of turkey in there and I'm just going to dribble a little bit of 
Bad on it. Now I can't get my fingers around it. And I'm just going to wrap that piece right in there. Can you see that? Can you see how that looks? Pretty cool. That's all it is. So some people may be saying, Jeff, you need to put a toothpick through it. And I say, no you don't. <gasps> Blasphemy, anytime you do stuff with bacon, you gotta run a toothpick through it, right? No, let me show you why. Because when you wrap that up, what happens when bacon, when it cooks? Bacon, when it cooks, it does what? That's right, shrinks up. So it's naturally just gonna hold on to that little piece of meat that you put there. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it in the smoker. Ooh, yeah, come on now. All my barbecue and smoking people out there, this ought to be good. So what I have is I just did some charcoal up and I got some chiave that I put into um, some water. Why would you do that? Uh -huh. Because I want smoke. I don't want fire. So, and you can use whatever you want. I mean, you can go through, and I know a lot of people back in the mainland, we would use, depending on where you're at, um, all my friends down south and Texas and those areas, they like to use the chiave. And that's what we have is chiave out here, which is mesquite. That's what you guys call it. Um, back in Ohio, I know we'll use... Uh, I yeah, got the bacon stuck. I can't work and talk at the same time. Uh, we actually use um, apple wood, apple or peach or something like that, a fruit tree. That comes out good. So, up to you. I think down in the Carolinas, a lot of them use uh, a pecan. Pecan or pecan, if you're depending on where you're from. I don't care. I think it all tastes good anyway. So, there you go. Finishes up. We'll go put this on the smoke. Okay, so look at all that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So I got the ones that I put maple syrup on, because I want to try those. And I did them without maple syrup. And then I just got, because I ran out of bacon. Ha! Ah, just got regular ones. Let's go put them on the grill. Alright. Let's see what we got here. How's my smoke looking? Oh, yeah. Look at that. <coughs> Alright. Drop these in there. Just gonna keep them on the outside first. Hey, stay wrapped up. There you go. Sounds like paradise helicopters flying over. Hey guys, a little shout out to you. Put some of these little turkey pieces on the end down here. I wanna see how these come out. Yeah. Okay, hey, also, for the record, I am not a pit master, okay? Goes my my dog. She a pointer. We got Khalidge up there, she's chasing him. So, I'm not a pit master. What he said is low and slow. Low heat, long time. Yeah, okay. I'm hungry now. Ha <laughs> ha. See how it goes. All right, let's check on this, see how it's doing. Man, them's looking good, aren't they? Look at them little nuggets of yumminess.
Those look like they're about done, don't they? All right. Okay. Check them out. I think what I'm gonna do, because I want my bacon a little crispy, is I'm gonna slide the grills with the stuff right over the top of it. Man, I was eating some of these chickens out. These little nuggets. Okay. That's a little ball of fire. I just threw in my mouth. <laughs> They're done. I'm gonna slide it over the top, let it crisp up the bacon a bit, and we're good. <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. Whoo! <coughs> I love it. Oh yeah, that's what I like. Yeah. A little burntness on there. Look at that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. See that little baby right there. Mm-hmm. Look at that. <laughs> okay. Get that little burnt right there. Oh my goodness. We got. Can you see them? Oh my goodness. Alright, let's plate some of these up here. Oh my goodness. I gotta save some for my wife and daughter. My daughter is leaving and she's like, Dad, save me some. Of course, I said, huh, Baby, I'm the man of the house. If I like. Yes, baby. So. Okay, I'm gonna pour. let's try this out. Can you see that? Oh my goodness. Let's try it. Dude. <laughs> Moist. That bacon really wraps it up good, man. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Okay. So you can get the flavor of that, that teriyaki. You get the flavor of that teriyaki in there. Some of them, well most of them, I put that little bit of maple syrup in there. So now you get this mapley bacon. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, thanks for watching, man. I just wanna say, you get a chance, support our sponsors. People who support me, go out there and check them out. Most of these guys are giving you discounts anyway, so go use the discounts. Go get you some nice clothes. Go get you some product to put out for your deer. Go get you some calls. Go get you a nice cooler or a, a 
dive equipment and stuff. I mean, we got all kinds of good stuff. So, anyways, I want to say thanks for watching, and aloha, and a hui ho. Dude, you have no clue. Maybe I'll tell her they all fell. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Na Yehova oi, a e ho'o mai ka i mai, a e mālama mai. Na Yehova e kau mai i ka mālama lama, o kona maka ma luna i ho'o, wa e loko mai ka i mai ya oi. Na Yehova e maliu mai ya oi, a e haavi mai i maluno.